You may be seated. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> Welcome to the wedding of Ricky and Bobby. Been a long time coming, right? Yeah. <laughs> Now, I don't know if I ought to stop and tell a story or not. Um, oh, yeah. it, it might, it might, I don't know if it, you know, you hear rumors, okay? So it, it might be, it might not be. But uh, I, I heard that Bobby was married once before and it didn't work out that great. So she was talking to her friends, probably Michelle, maybe her sister. And they're saying, you know, we, we got to go with a different strategy this time, you know? You, you know, we watch all those uh, Disney movies, you get it all, you get absolutely everything. Is it, you know, in real life, maybe maybe uh, we can make some concessions here and get, get something that'll last this time. So I uh, said, what, what could we be a uh, compromise on a little bit here? And I said, well, could we give up tall, dark, and handsome? And uh, and I, I think Bob said she was willing to give up tall and dark, uh, <laughs> but not the handsome, I don't know. And, uh, and, and I think her friends, now this might, you know, it's a rumor, so it might, but her friends said, well, you know, let's, let's get character. Let's get somebody who's got good characters and stick with it. Let's get somebody that, uh, uh, you know, uh, has a sense of humor. Uh, somebody that's intelligent. And uh, somebody, somebody that has some money. And, uh, and uh, I said, you know what, you're getting back to the Prince thing here where you got to have it all. Uh, so he said, you know what, if you can't get all of that, at least go for, at least go for the money, you know. Uh, so uh, when he sh he showed up with uh, Bobby, or when Bobby showed up with uh, Ricky, I guess her dad, maybe I don't know, he said, uh, "How rich is this guy?" Uh, <clears throat> okay, so that might not all be true, but uh, <laughs> that really we want somebody that's patient. And uh, so Michelle said, "I'll tell you what we'll do. When Ricky's down at the lake fishing, we'll send Trinity over to turn every light in the house on, leave him on all weekend." <laughs> and just see if he's patient enough. Now, I don't know what happened at the end of that story, but I will say all three of them are here today, so that tells you something. All right, I better get to work. <clears throat> Let's start with prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing, first of all, on Ricky and Bobby. We thank you for them. We know that all of us are here because we have a relationship, a knowledge, a friendship with these people, and we pray that you will bless Ricky and Bobby. Bless their children, their family, uh, their friends that are all gathered here, Lord, we ask your blessing on this service, uh, this ceremony. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God in the time of man's innocency, signifying unto us the mystical union that is between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and the first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee, and is commended of St. Paul to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be taken in hand unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God, into which holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. Believing then that you have duly considered the solemn obligation you're about to assume and you're prepared to enter under the same advisedly and in the fear of God, I will propose to you this covenant. Ricky, do you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Keep yourself only under her as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> At least he's still thinking about it. <laughs> Bobby, will you have this man to be your wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live? Bible. 
Bible, there were quite a few weddings, and it seems like maybe a lot of them were outside. The first one apparently happened in the Garden of Eden. And then that one in, uh, in Cana where uh, the whole village was invited, and, and Jesus turned water into 120 gallons of wine. So here we are on a beautiful day outside as well. And, uh, you know, some of the things that, uh, that, uh, that came about in those times uh, can do us some good today. That unity, that purpose, that unconditional love. Uh, I hear that married people live longer. So I'm not sure maybe what all our motives are sometimes, uh, but uh, I think Jamie told, uh, told Ricky that if he finds somebody and get married, he'd live longer. Uh, so we want to do that. <laughs> good reason, maybe not the only reason. All right, we're going to get real. We're going to take some vows. Hi, Ricky. Take me, Bobby. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part. There too, I plight thee my love. Promise, promise will work. I promise my love. Hi, Bobby. Take thee, Ricky. Hi, Bobby. Take thee, Ricky. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. And to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For, better, for, for richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In, sickness and in, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. <laughs> I pledge thee my love. I pledge my love. <laughs> right, we're looking for a couple rings. Does somebody have a symbol of your love and your promise to each other? As the ring is a circle without beginning or end, so is the love of God. May our love likewise be unconditional and unending. With this ring, I be wed. Yeah. Well, that's going to be permanent. As the ring is a circle, without beginning or of or end, so is the love of God. May our love likewise be unconditional and unending. With this ring, I do wed. As you layer your sand together, your lives come together as one, now a family. The layers of your past here blend to become your present and future. Two. Seal the pack with a kiss.
right, let's get on with it. Let me introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Ricky Huff.
I wish you as much love forever as you feel today. I wish you both endless moments of memories to cherish forever. I wish you all the best that two people can share. Today's been two years of love, preparation, blood, sweat, and tears. Sometimes I feel like that's been my blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> and I hope you both feel how absolutely perfect and amazing you two are together. Here's to forever and evermore. I love you, Mr. and Ms. Huff. I'm 